U.S. officials have revealed that some of the Nigerian schoolgirls kidnapped by the militant group Boko Haram two years ago have been located. But the combined African and U.S. forces have not carried out rescue missions for fear the hostages might be killed. CCTV's Nick Harper reports now from New York. The disclosure from the U.S. that clusters of the girls have been discovered is an attempt by officials to reassure the world that the Nigerian girls have not been forgotten. This latest news, of course, coming just a week after Nigeria marked the two-year anniversary of the girls' capture. Now, 276 girls were taken by Boko Haram. Some have managed to escape, but the vast majority remain captive. U.S. officials said they have pinpointed several locations using local intelligence, drones and intercepted communications. But the joint African-American forces have not attempted any sort of rescue operation, saying it could put the girls' lives at risk. The head of the U.S. Military Africa Command, General David Rodriguez, said rescuing the girls is further complicated by the fact they're being kept in small groups, which would therefore make the rescue missions even harder. The retired head of the U.S. military's Africa Command, General Carter Ham, said the forces were not just looking for the 200 girls. He explained that many others had been taken hostage by Boko Haram over the past few years. The U.S. military officials were speaking in Cameroon about these latest developments, and they were joined there by the U.S. ambassador to the United Nations, Samantha Power. Now, she said that the United States is in this for the long haul. The news that some of the girls have been found is likely to bring a measure of comfort to their families. But, of course, it doesn't bring them home, at least not yet. Nick Harper, CCTV, New York.